नमस्कार फिर पैसा बोलता है मैं आपका स्वागत है आज मेरे साथ मेरे भाई हैं फिर हॉट टैक्स नहीं करेंगे गोल्डमैन सैक्स की रिपोर्ट थी वो रिपोर्ट आई थी कब पिछले हफ्ते जिसमें वो अफ्लुएंट इंडियंस की बात कर रही थी तो बोल रहे हैं कि वो बड़ा नंबर हो जाएगा और वो कंजम्पन स्टोरी होगा और वो कंजम्पन स्टॉक के लिए हाई प्राइस स्टॉक जस्टिफाई कर रहे हैं उसी समय में दूसरा रिपोर्ट भी आया था वो ऑक्सफैम रिपोर्ट था जो एक्चुअल ट्रूथ को ट्रूथ बोल रहा था बहुत चर्चा हो रहा था इस गोल्डमैन साइक्स की रिपोर्ट के बारे में तो मैंने सोचा मेरे भाई के साथ कुछ प्रोग्राम करूंगा ये तो अंग्रेजी में होगा गोल्डमैन साइक्स की रिपोर्ट के बारे में और उसके बारे में हम क्या सोचते हैं तो आइए चलते हैं गोल्डमैन साइक्स क्या बोलता है इसको अंग्रेजी में सुनते हैं person who's not in the bracket of being in the affluent india because 4.1% of the population is considered in affluent which has a per capita income of over $10000 fastest growing segment of 12.6% so what they are trying to tell you is per capita income is annual income of $10000 per year so this is about 8 lakhs 30000 per year this is about 4% of our population our population is 140 crores so this is a maximum about 4 5 crores or 6 crores this is an estimate this is not a fact no sir this is not come from income tax reports yeah they have used other sources to estimate it and they estimate this is between 4.1% that means it's about 5 crores yes if they also believe that this is growing at 12% that is 50 lakh people are joining this every year and so this is could possibly become in by 2030 you will add another 2 crores so this report is about what is today at 4 to 5 crores and can become 7 to 8 crores in 2000 yeah the population size of india at that time could be between 145 to 150 crores correct so this is not for the majority of indians these are people who are making 80000 rupees post tax but i differ with this i'll tell you why i differ with this because i have done a very famous video this is per capita income so if husband wife two children are there this number has to be 3.2 lakh correct so this is very exclusive club husband and wife are there this has to be 1.6 lakhs yes husband wife two children and parents six people means it's 6 into 8 48 lakhs it is not the income of an individual this is an income of a family yes so this he does not make a distinction there i am making a distinction because if you are living even in the city of madras which is not very expensive compared to bangalore delhi and bombay i do not know of the rest right at 70 to 80 thousand rupees you cannot live an upper middle class life if you have two kids and they need to go to a school rent in a decent place will cost you 20 to 25 thousand from where you can come you to work If you have a car, you are dead. If you have a housing loan, this twenty-five thousand will become forty thousand. Because less than fifty lakhs, you can't find a flat anywhere near the city. So this is for somebody. The husband, and wife are making more than three point two lakhs, and if they have two kids, if they are parents dependent on them, they don't qualify. So we are talking of very rare. It's not somebody who is drawing one lakh. No. So I wanted to make this clarification. Go ahead. Yeah. So then, adding on the same report is Oxfam report, which talks about how ten percent of the Indians hold seventy-seven percent of the nation's wealth, and out of that, the one percent rich has acquired over seventy percent of the wealth which is generated, while the poorest six hundred and seventy million saw only an increase of one percent. So the rapid increase of billionaires from two thousand to two thousand twenty-four, from nine in two thousand. now india is almost nearing 170 billion as currently i have been talking about the cash and recovery oxfam is also saying the same thing the top 10% of india control 77% of the wealth and the balance 90% have 23% of the wealth among that top 10% top 1% control 70% so the balance 9% has only 7% of the wealth there is a cash share between 10% and 90% but within that 10% it's of the top 1% control most of the money so this is really bad and this is a clearly example if you have already invested a large amount 
in stock markets from the pandemic period, you would have seen your wealth grow by at least 70-80%. You are holding on to gold, your money would have multiplied several times. You are already in the driver's seat. You have already collected your assets. 90% of India do not have DMAT accounts, do not have mutual funds, do not have gold. This is what the Oxfam report is saying. What the Goldman Sachs report is saying is, so this is a consumption story. Correct. So if you play the consumption story, you will make a lot of money. So what are we seeing? Say so you buy Titan. It's at 100 times earnings. 100 times earnings. It's a Tata company. So it's ethically, morally straight. But you are valuing this at 100 times earnings. Even if you are at a 12.5% CAGR, there is no way you can justify this income. Like the great Harvard Marks taught us, an asset may be great, but what price you pay for it matters. If you are going to pay 100 times for a company, however ethical, however very straightforward, you are asking for disaster. You are not going to get any great returns in that. No. Now compare this with Tangamine, which is basically operating in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities in Tamil Nadu alone and is not yet opened in Chennai. They hope to open only next year or the year after. It's trading at 32 times earning. It addresses uh, the 9% of that market, not the top 1% it operates at. The balance 9%. If Titan is operating at the top 1%, hmm. this is operating at the 9%. Titan, I'm only referring to Tanishk. Titan has brands. But if you go to Titan I plus and you go to a normal ice pool, you will see the difference. So what I'm trying to tell you is the difference in valuation is the story is already overplayed. Correct. What Goldman Sachs is trying to do is their clients have already bought these stocks. They want people like you to buy these stocks off them. So they can get off. So that you I create a buzz. <laughs> Everybody starts to talk about it. I can offload some of my position. Correct. He talks about Nestle and HUL. Now the market in today, when I speak, is at a 52-week high, almost. It's only 1,000 points below the 52-week high. But HUL and HDFC Bank are at a 52-week low. Nestle has shot up because liquidity has increased. Nestle will also fall. So you are talking about companies like Nestle. You are talking about Trent. You are talking about Titan. Hindustan Unilever. You are talking about Hindustan Unilever. But these are products people will not simply buy them. If you are looking at Metro Shoes and Lucas Campus Active Air. Correct. Campus Active Air is 15% down from its IPO price. Bata is struggling to increase sales. It's at 70 times earnings. I am in the top 1%. I don't buy Bata Shoes. What I am trying to tell you is this. The story has already been played out. The bus has left the terminals long ago. Goldman Sachs is hoping it can hype them, hype it. If Goldman Sachs says it must be true, and therefore not only in India, this report will be circulated all over the world. They are creating a lot of FOMO, fear of missing out for India and already very expensive stocks. Correct. Asian Paints has shown you that in spite of 30% increase in profits, because its revenues didn't grow, the prices collapsed. HUL has collapsed. HDFC Bank has collapsed. So please be careful and don't fall into this trap. Correct. Thank you for watching. Paisa Bolta Hai. Aapne is podcast ko suna is ke liye mein aapka abari hoon. Agar aapko is video pasand aaya, to is video ko like kijiye, channel ko subscribe kijiye aur bell notification dabaye. Ho sakye to is video ko aapne dost aur rishte dar ke paas bheje aur unko bekhne ki aagra kare. नमस्कार धन्यवाद जय हिंद नमस्कार मैं आनंद श्रीनिवासन ट्रिवेंड्रम के इवेंट के पास किधर इवेंट होस्ट करेंगे इसके बारे में बहुत चर्चा हुआ मेरे टीम ने डिसाइड किया कि इवेंट अगला इवेंट दुबई में किया जाए तो एमिरेट्स यूनाइटेड अरब एमिरेट्स में जो रहते हैं और मुझे मिलने के इच्छुक हैं वो दुबई में ट्वेंटी फोर आके मुझे मिल सकते हैं सो तो अगला इवेंट मेरा दुबई के दुबई सिटी में 24 फोर्थ फेब्रवरी साढ़े तीन से पाँच बजे होगा जो जो मुझे मिलने के लिए इच्छुक हैं वो वो इवेंट में आ सकते हैं डिटेल्स के लिए नीचे दिए गए व्हाट्सएप नंबर में संपर्क करें या जो ईमेल आपको दिया गया नीचे उसमें मेल लिखें मेरा टीम आपसे संपर्क करेगा नमस्कार धन्यवाद जय हिंद